lot of people on Facebook. The uh, Simon Flyers Club uh, requested that uh, maybe I'll do a video on how I did the mods on my Sima X5C for the uh, receiver antenna. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and tear it apart. And I'll do a cleanup while I'm doing it and do a short video and show you exactly what I did on the antenna. Uh, I'll probably do the hat cam thing. Right now I'm just holding the camera so it's probably a little shaky. But that my lighting is all goofy. But basically this is what I'm going to do. This antenna right here. I'm going to take it apart and I'm going to show you how I did the soldering on the board. And what I did, I drilled a hole through there. And I added a piece of, uh, I guess you call it nirod. Some of this stuff. I just cut me a length of it. Slid it down over the antenna, the wire. And I think I glued it in place so it won't go nowhere. And I drilled a hole in the top right there, right above the solder joint. I just fed that up through there. And it's not even solid, it's, uh, it's just soldered to the board. So let me open this up and I'll show you what it what it looks like inside. Yeah, just right. I'm trying not to move my head too much. Uh, let's go ahead and take this all apart, starting with the props. If you notice on my props, I marked in which direction they go. I got all my props marked so I know which direction they are. These are the front props. And they turn this way. Whoops. Anyhow, they turn this way. See the arrows here and here. And these both turn. These are the back props, and they turn this way. And I got them marked back there. Anyhow, let me take this apart. Okay, let's see if I can turn this over without losing all the screws. Anyhow, let me get these motors back where they belong. There's a little tiny board that controls it all. Right here. And what I did, if you look real close, I don't know how good this uh, camera focuses. But right there is where the antenna solders on. There's just one little pad right there that that solders to. And what I did is I took my 
Cat 5 wire, which is this wire right here, and I cut a piece longer than what I needed. If you look inside this Cat 5 wire, this is what you get. This is a standard phone wire that they use and it comes in pairs like that what I do is I'll take a pair out I'll split the pair so I've got just one wire and I believe that's like 28 gauge it's pretty small and then I straighten it out as best I can And I strip a little bit off the end, not very much, just enough to solder to. Like that. I don't know if you can see that or not. This camera's not that great for doing close ups, I don't think. But you end up with a wire like that. And what I do is I take the wire and I bend it over, make sure it's not too long, because all you got to do is solder it to that little bead of solder on your board. Matter of fact, I can trim that off a little bit probably. That's all you need to solder, just that little tiny bit. And what it is is there's a pad on the board, and all you got to do is get that pad and put some solder on it right there just put a little bead of solder on there and make sure it's a good solder joint and then technically all you have to do is heat up your your wire and your solder and get it all soldered in place like that okay and once you get that on there that's when you you take a piece of this stuff here and cut it long That's what that is right there over the wire. You notice the wire? Well, this wire fits right inside of that almost perfectly. And once you get that soldered in place, you can slide one of these over it. And you got it all set up. Then you take a measuring tool. And I usually go straight from the board and go out to the end. And it should be 62 and a half millimeters long to the tip. And that would be a tuned antenna. So 62.5 millimeters, 62 and a half millimeters. And you just trim that off after you've got it all soldered together and got your plastic coating, this nye rod stuff over it. You get your length and just cut it. So that's 62.5 millimeters and that tunes your antenna for 2.4 gigahertz that makes it a half wave antenna anyhow i just wanted to show you technically that's all there is to it pretty simple little mod you just figure out on your quad where you need to drill a little hole so that your antenna will slide up through it and it's not necessary to put it up inside if you don't want to you can actually lay it down inside the here probably although I wanted to keep it away from all these power lines for the motors and such so that's one reason I did it the way I did this way here it's up and out away from any of the power sources or away from the board and away from anything but I just wanted to show it so that should end this this video I wanted to make it short so this should be short enough <laughs> uh, you don't need to watch me put it all back together